Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can take XYZ data and plot it three-dimensionally inside of Microsoft Excel. Now there's two methods of doing this. The first method that I'm going to show you is just using formulas and calculations to create a three-dimensional scatter plot inside of Microsoft Excel with rotation so you can actually rotate it around. Now it's a little clunky because you are going to be using formulas to create the uh, the three-dimensional graph but that is the first method. The second method is actually going to be using a third-party application which I'll get to in a second. So let's look at the first bit of data that we have right here. This is a plot of land that I just went to Google and I looked at a property, property boundary and I just got the latitude, longitude, and altitude of that property and we got roughly 500 and yeah 540 data points for this X, Y, and Z data. Now if you just go ahead and you plot all of this exactly the way you see it you go to insert and you go to graphs and scatter chart right here you're going to notice that it produces a graph that looks like this and this is not a three-dimensional graph this is just a flat graph and the reason why it's doing this is because an X uh, sorry a scatter plot is actually just using X and Y coordinates so for an example if I just graph these two right here you're going to see that it's going to graph a bird's eye view of the data so we're not taking Z axis into the account so it's just going to be looking directly down at all the data points so all of this this is a prop property boundary we're just plotting the X and Y so the Z axis is not there if I move this over to include the Z axis then we're going to see a side profile of the property boundaries so that is a side profile of the property now this is interesting but it doesn't really show us a three-dimensional graph so what we need to do is we need to plug in a calculation to convert this data into a two-dimensional set of data using X and Y coordinates. So to do that, I actually have it brought up right here. This is the same amount of data. And this, these right here are the calculations that we're going to be using. The altitude and azimuth, those are the rotations in the X and Y direction. And it's going to be x and y degrees from negative 180 to 180 divided by 100 so as you see right here I already have all this plugged in so if we plug this in at say 25 degrees that's positive 25 degrees you can see that those numbers changed so I'm going to go back that out the alpha and beta those are the pi divided by 180 so we can get the correct rotation on the azimuth and altitude the original x original y and original z values those are these values right here then we have the xxx right down here which is a a, a three-dimensional rotation of the z rotation that we are not going to have available this is just right there we're just using the X and Y rotations right now because that's a lot easier than calculating the third alpha which is the Z so this formula these two those are exactly what I plugged in right here as you can see the code is right there it is following that string of code and this is the X values that we are graphing and the one next to it that is the Y values that we are graphing that is right there and as you can see those are the Y. So it's a big long code of calculations. You can pause this if you want. But what this does, if we go and we insert a graph right here, exactly the same graph we had before, you'll notice that it populates the same way. That is because we have not changed the rotation. We are currently at a zero degree rotation in X and Y, which means we are not taking into account the Z rotation. But if I were to change this, say, every 25 degrees we are now rotating this graph 25 degrees in the Y rotation and I can rotate it again another 25 and you can see that it keeps changing so 75 degrees and it just keeps going like that so I'm going to put this at a solid 90 degree angle that is going to be a side profile and I can change the next one down here and rotate it around every 25 degrees again so you can see that we are actually rotating this graph around every 25 degrees so this is a simple way to uh, create a three-dimensional graph inside of Excel now if you were a little bit more in depth with programming you could add in a macro for this maybe a scroll bar and you can make a three-dimensional graph 
and needless to say this calculation while it does work it is quite excessive for normal use now on the other hand if you're like me and you want to get this done with a minimal amount of work because I'm just going to be honest, this took me quite a while to set up. You're looking at probably 30 minutes just for one graph. And then that's not even automating the rotations. So just getting this set up takes a good amount of time. On the other hand, you can use a third-party application like XYZ Mesh, which can do a lot more than just this simple 3D plot. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy all this data over and I'm going to show you what XYZ Mesh can do. If we open up XYZ Mesh, I can paste this data directly in. And as you can see, this land is already plotted for us. So we have all the data points. It's already plotted. And if we wanted to, we can even increase the size of this and turn on color variation. So with the color variation enabled, you can see that we can actually see the different heights, variations, and things like that of this scatter plot. So I'm going to take this a little bit further. I'm not just going to do a scatter plot. I'm going to make this into a three-dimensional surface graph that we can actually see and use inside of Excel. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit convert to mesh right here. And as you can see, this has already been converted over for me. It takes all the data points and it converts it into a mesh format. And we can actually look at it as a surface graph. And I know what you're saying. This is nice. This is fine. But it's not inside of Excel. Well, it can be. We can go up to File and Export to Excel. XYZ Mesh is currently the only software available that can convert XYZ data directly from XYZ data into a mesh style format that Excel can read. And it curves all the data and creates a nice solid fluid graph for you inside of Excel. So I can go right here. We have all these different options that we have export options or details that we can add in about the graph. But I'm going to bypass all that and I'm just going to export this directly into Excel. And as you can see right here, all of our data is input into Excel. And if we go to 3D rotation, Excel already has this built in. So we can actually rotate this land plot in three dimensions. So we can rotate it in the X and Y rotations. We can zoom in. We can change your perspective on it. So XYZ Mesh is able to do this for you. Now you can convert this into a mesh format without using XYZ Mesh, but it's far more difficult than the formula that I showed you previously. And XYZ Mesh does it for you automatically. How you are to convert this over using just Excel, you need to take all your X values, which are located right here, all of these values, and you need to paste them over here. Then you need to align all the Y values across the top columns and then all the Z values you need to manually match up with the X and Y value in that grid formation to create this graph. And if there's any empty data points, for instance, I'm going to give this as an example. If there's any empty data points inside of this, Excel will not know how to handle it. So if I just go in here and I delete this, you can see the massive change that has happened in our surface graph just because I removed that data. That is the issue that you're going to run into if you do this manually instead of using an application like XYZ Mesh. And as I said, XYZ Mesh is the only software that can do this for you. So those were different ways on how you can create three-dimensional graphs using XYZ data inside of Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Uh, apparently, ringing the bell notification uh, does something. So please subscribe, ring that bell, and please leave a comment. Let us know if you like this video. Let us know what we messed up on. Let us know if you enjoyed it. And let us know if there's any new features that you would like us to add into XYZ Mesh or if there's anything that you'd like us to cover. Thank you very much. I hope you had a wonderful, fantastic day, and I hope this video was helpful to you.